वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स ऑन ऑनलाइन क्लास फॉर सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स टुडे वी हैव लर्न चैप्टर नंबर सेवन वेव ऑप्टिक्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव सीन सम एग्जांपल्स ऑन एक्सरसाइजेस सो फर्स्ट एग्जांपल विल बी व्हाइट लाइट कंसिस्ट ऑफ वेवलेंथ फ्रॉम 400 हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीटर नैनोमीटर टू सेवन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर वॉट विल बी द वेवलेंथ ऑफ रेंज सीन वेन व्हाइट लाइट इज पास थ्रू ग्लास ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कैन राइट ए डाटा डाटा ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल विल बी वेवलेंथ लैमरा लैमडा वन दैट इज फोर हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर मीन्स फोर हंड्रेड इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइन मीटर अनदर लैमडा टू दैट इज सेवन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर विच इज सेवन हंड्रेड इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइन मीटर रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स फॉर ग्लास it will be 1.55 and so we can find out wavelength range so here we can find out wavelength of light in glass for one wavelength of light in glass for two it can be find its range can be find here lambda 1 and lambda 2 it will be wavelength of light in air so first of all we know that snell's law using snell's law refractive index of glass with respect to air that is lambda air upon lambda glass 1 so that lambda glass 1 is equal to lambda air or lambda 1 upon mu of glass with respect to air it will be 400 into 10 to the power minus 9 upon 1.55 so here we can see using logarithm 2.0 point what happen so in logarithm we have seen 40 in 0 it will be 6021 15 in 5 it will be 1903 by subtracting here 8 1 1 Four, two. What I want? It's antilog. So antilog of point forty one in one. So point forty one in one. It is two five seven six, and mean difference in eight that is five. So it will be lambda one glass or lambda glass one. It will be. 2.5 into 81 into 10 to the power 2 into 10 to the power minus 9. So it will be 2.5 into 81 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter. And so the wavelength it will be 25 81 into 10 to the power minus 10. That is 2581. angstrom unit but again we want to find the wavelength of glass for second so we know that wavelength of glass for second is also wavelength of light in air upon mu for or wavelength of light in second wavelength of light in air upon 
refractive index with respect to AR. So it will be 700 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 1.55 here. So again we can see logarithm. The logarithm for 70 in 0. So its logarithm will be 8451 and 15 in 5 it will be 1903. Again 8 is remaining 4 here 5 and here 6. If we can take its antilog, antilog of <coughs> 0.65 in 4. So 0.65 in 4 it will be 4508 and in 8 it is mean difference 8. So wavelength of glass for 2 it will be 4516 4.516 into 10 to the power 2 10 to the power minus 9 which is 4.16 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter means 4516 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter means 4516 angstrom unit so the range when white light is passed through refractive index of glass 1.55 its range it will be 2581 angstrom unit to 4516 angstrom unit or 258.n nanometer to 451.6 nanometer that will be the range of white light pass through glass again if we can see another example that example will be optical path of ray of light of a given wavelength traveling through distance 3 cm in flint glass having refractive index 1.6 is same as that on traveling a distance x cm through a medium having refractive index 1.5 1.25 determined value of x see here here two refractive index will be given one will be here in data refractive index for one it will be 1.6 when the distance x1 is 3 cm again we can find out refractive index of second medium or second will be 1.25 so x2 will be x if we can see refractive index of 1 and refractive index of 2 will be same so that we know the formula refractive index of 1 with respect to air that is velocity of light or refractive index of denser medium with respect to air medium will be velocity of light in air upon velocity of light in denser. We know velocity of light in air will be distance upon time. So velocity of light in denser it also will be distance upon time or distance in denser medium upon time. So see here we can write refractive index of denser medium with respect to air medium is equal to in air medium distance will be x1 upon time divided by distance x2 upon time what happened time gate cancel so here x1 upon x or x2 so we can say that va upon vd is equal to x1 upon x2 optical path 
it will be x in air so therefore we can say that velocity of air upon velocity of denser is equal to velocity distance of air upon distance of denser so x in air is equal to velocity of light in air upon velocity of light in denser multiplied by x denser it will be x air is equal to mu of denser medium with respect to air medium is equal to x into x denser or x air is equal to mu for denser medium with respect to air medium multiplied by x suppose this is equation number 1 for second medium in first medium we can see that x air is equal to mu of denser medium with respect to air medium multiplied by 3 cm that will be equation number 2 if we can did having same so here mu for denser medium with respect to air medium is equal to into 3 cm is equal to mu for denser medium with respect to air medium into x so we know that mu 1 that is it will be mu 1 and it will be mu 2 so mu 1 it will be 1.6 into 3 is equal to 1.25 into x so 4.8 upon 1.25 is equal to x and if we can see the logarithm of 48 and 12 in 5 so log of 48 it will be 6812 log of 12 in 5 it will be 0969 so here by subtracting it will be 3 here it will be 4 here 8 will be remaining here 5 will be remaining by taking the anti log anti log of point 58 in 4 3 is mean difference it will be 3.840 into 10 to the power 0 cm so so that therefore x is equal to 3.84 cm that is the answer for given question or given example number 2 if we can see example number 3 that is unpolarized light of intensity i0 is incident on two polarized the axis of first polarized makes an angle of 50 degree here with vertical and axis of second polarized is horizontal what is the intensity of light after it has passed through second polarized here we can use according to malu malus so when unpolarized light light of intensity i0 is incident on first polarizer therefore the polarizer of intensity of incident light intensity becomes i is equal to i0 upon 
देर फोर और आई वन इज इक्वल टू आई जीरो अपॉन टू देर फोर आई टू इज इक्वल टू आई वन कॉस स्क्वेर थीटा फेन वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट द आई वन इट विल बिकम्स आई टू इक्वल टू आई जीरो अपॉन टू कॉस स्क्वेर थीटा हियर थीटा विल बी the angle between axis of polarizer that is theta 2 minus theta 1 so here if we can substitute so i2 becomes i0 cos square theta 2 माइनस थीटा वन अपॉन टू सो वी कैन राइट आई जीरो कॉस स्क्वेर नाइंटी डिग्री माइनस फिफ्टी डिग्री अपॉन टू दैट इज आई जीरो कॉस स्क्वेर फोर्टी डिग्री अपॉन टू वी नो दैट cos 40 it will be i0 multiplied by 0.7660 multi bracket square upon 2 or it is equal to i0 multiplied by 0.7660 multiplied by 0.7660 divided by 2 so what happen see here by using logarithmic table One bar one point bar one point, their addition it will be eight eight four two. Their log is eight eight four two. So their addition will be eight sixteen and seventeen bar one minus log of twenty. It will be three zero one zero. So that four seven six. Four bar one. Take the antilog of point forty six in seven and in four. So I two becomes I zero multiplied by two point nine three four into ten to the power minus four. So I two is equal to zero point two nine three four I zero. this is the answer for given example again if we can solve the fourth example that will be the intensity of light in coming from one of slit in young's experiment which will be twice the intensity of light coming from other slit what will be the approximate ratio of intensities for bright for dark we know that for bright it will be maximum intensity for dark it will be minimum intensity so here we can write a data data is given that is two intensities i1 upon i2 that will be twice means 2 upon 1 here a1 and a2 are amplitudes of interfering wave waves so ratio of their maximum velocity intensity to minimum intensity maximum intensity to minimum intensity it will becomes a1 plus a2 bracket square upon a1 minus a2 bracket square we know that here we know i directly proportional to square of a so therefore i1 upon i2 is equal to a1 upon a2 bracket square 
we know that the value of i1 upon i2 that will be a1 upon a2 bracket square equal to 2 upon 1 so a1 upon a2 is equal to square root of 2 upon 1 means a1 is equal to square root of 2 a2 if we can substitute the value of a1 so here it becomes i maximum upon i minimum it will be square root of 2 a2 plus a2 bracket square upon square root of 2 a2 minus a2 bracket square it will be square root of 2 plus 1 upon square root of 2 minus 1 bracket square multiplied by a2 square upon a2 square so what happened a2 square a2 square get cancel if a2 square get cancel so it becomes square root of 2 having value 1.414 plus 1 upon 1.414 minus 1 it is 2.414 divided by 0 0.414 so here bracket square we can write 2.414 multiplied by 2.414 divided by 0 0.414 multiplied by 0 0.414 if we can see their logarithm so logarithm has two terms numerator as well as denominator in numerator logarithm will be 24 in 1 4 is in mean difference it will be 38 27 38 27 their addition will be 4 1 is remaining 5 16 1 is remaining and so that 7 so its addition will be 0 0.7654 and denominator it has two terms having characteristics bar 1 bar 1 so their logarithm it will be 61 70 61 70 their addition will be 14 3 12 bar 1 minus bar 1.2340 its subtraction will be 4 1 3 5 and 1 point take its anti log so anti log of 0 0.53 in 1 4 is mean difference therefore i maximum upon i minimum is equal to 3.399 into 10 to the power 1 it is 39.99 and therefore finally the answer a ratio of maximum intensity to minimum intensity it will be approximately 34 that is the answer for a given example again if we can solve the example number 5 that is the distance between two consecutive bright band or bright fringes in biprism experiment using light of wavelength 6000 angstrom unit is 0 0.33 millimeter by how much will the distance change if light of wavelength 4800 angstrom unit is used so here a data will be given that data will be wavelength first it will be 6000 angstrom unit means 6 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter again here bandwidth x1 is given as 0 0.32 millimeter will be 0 0.32 into 10 to the power minus 3 millimeter 
how much means x2 is equal to what when wavelength will be 4800 angstrom unit means 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter how much will be distance change means change in distance so that is change in distance it will be x1 minus x2 because here x is directly proportional to wavelength so x1 is greater as compared to x2 so we can find first x2 we know that bandwidth so bandwidth will be x is equal to lambda capital D upon small d so here for 1 it will be x1 equal to lambda 1 capital D upon small d and x2 equal to lambda 2 capital D upon small d therefore x1 equal to x2 lambda 1 capital D upon small d equal to lambda 2 capital D upon small d small d and capital D get cancelled so here when the two bandwidth will be divided x1 upon x2 so their wavelength will be lambda 1 upon lambda 2 so that x2 is equal to lambda 2 upon lambda 1 multiplied by x1 by substituting their values lambda 2 it will be 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 6 into 10 to the power minus 7 multiplied by 0 0.32 millimeter so 10 to the power minus 7 get cancelled see here 2, 3, the 6, 2.4 into 2 will be 48, 4.8. So, 3, 1, the 3 and 0 0.8 will be 2.4 into 0 0.32 into 10 to the power minus 3. What happened? 8 to the 16, 1 is remaining, 8, 3, the 24 and 1, 25 and so that 0 0.250 millimeter that will be x2 so we can find out change change in width it will be x1 minus x2 so 0 0.32 or 320 minus 0 0.256 so their subtraction will be 4 is remaining 6 is there 0 0 0.064 millimeter that is the answer for given example again if we can find out example from diffraction in a double slit arrangement it produce produces interfering fringes for sodium light having the wavelength 589 nanometer that are 0 0.20 apart what is the angular fringe separation if the entire arrangement is immersed in water the water it has refractive index 1.33 here first of all we can write a data in this way wavelength will be 589 nanometer will be 5890 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter here theta 1 is given it will be 0 0.20 degree theta 2 will be find out means we can find out angular separation 
but refractive index of water with respect to air it will be 1.33 so that in such example we know that the refractive index of water with respect to air it will be either sin of i upon sin of r or velocity of light in air upon velocity of light in water or wavelength of light in air upon wavelength of light in so bandwidth is directly proportional to wavelength see the point so that bandwidth x is equal to lambda capital d upon small d sin theta so here bandwidth in air upon bandwidth in water is equal to wavelength of light in air capital d upon small d sin of theta 1 divided by wavelength of light in water capital d small d sin of theta 2 so what happen capital d capital d get cancel small d small d get cancel so here we can write as wavelength of light in air upon wavelength of light in water divided by or multiplied by sin of theta 2 upon sin of theta 1 so here we can write as bandwidth that is x in air upon x in water so here we can use the formula for wavelength of light in water upon wavelength of light in air upon wavelength of light in water it will be x in air upon x in water it will be mu for water with respect to air into sin of theta 2 divided by sin of theta 1 here we can find out theta 2 so as we can find the theta 2 so here multiply sin theta and divide so here we can written as bandwidth in air and water it will be 1 so 1 is equal to mu for water with respect to air into sin of theta 2 upon sin of theta 1 and therefore sin of theta 2 is equal to sin of theta 1 upon mu for water with respect to air again if we substitute the values here sin of theta 2 is equal to sin 0.20 degree upon 1.33 by using the values of natural sin here 0.20 degree it will be 0.0035 upon 1.33 by using the logarithmic table so bar 3 it will be characteristics for numerator and 0 point will be characteristics for denominator so for 35 the log will be 5441 and 13 in 3 log will be 21239 so by subtracting here 2 will be there 0 will be there 2 will be there and 4 will be there and here bar 3 take its anti log so by taking the anti log of 0.42 in 0 2 will be mean difference so sin of theta 2 that is 2.631 into 10 to the power minus 3 it becomes 0.002631 so theta 2 is equal to sin inverse in bracket 0.002631 by seeing the natural sign so that its 
वैल्यू फॉर फ्रिंज सिपरेशन और एंगुलर फ्रिंज सिपरेशन थीटा टू विल बी जीरो पॉइंट फिफ्टीन डिग्री दैट विल बी द एंसर फॉर गिव वन एग्जाम्पल सो अगेन वी कैन सॉल्व द अनदर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज इन बायप्रिजम एक्सपेरिमेंट द फ्रिंजेस आर ऑब्जर्व इन फोकल प्लेन ऑफ आई पीस एट ए डिस्टन्स ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू मीटर फ्रॉम स्लीट द डिस्टन्स बिट्वीन ट्वेंटीथ ब्राइट बैंड इज झिरो पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर वेन ए कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज प्लेस बिट्वीन बायप्रिजम एट आई पीस नाइंटी सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम आई पीस ए डिस्टन्स बिट्वीन टू वर्चुअल मैग्निफाइड इमेज is 0.9 cm and determine the wavelength of light again if we can write a data for this we can see the value of capital d it will be 1.2 meter from slit here x20 that is bandwidth from or 20th band width from central band will be 0.4 cm will be 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter again 90 cm from the ip is means u is equal to capital d minus 90 cm means 120 cm minus 90 cm 30 cm v will be 90 cm so here the centimeter value it will be 30 into minus 2 30 into 10 to the minus 2 and here 90 into 10 to the minus 2 meter again the distance of magnified image d1 will be given as 0.9 cm means 0.9 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter and we can find out d again determine the wavelength we can find out wavelength so first of all we know that the formula for bandwidth so it will be x is equal to lambda capital d upon small d For twentieth band width, twenty into x is equal to twenty wavelength upon capital D. Sorry, into capital D upon small d. So it will be zero point four into ten to the minus two. Twenty lambda capital D upon small d. So here lambda capital D upon small d is equal to 0. Point or 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon 20. 4 and the 4 and 4 five the 20. So wavelength into capital D upon small d it will be 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Here, if we see u and v, so using linear magnification rule u upon v is equal to d upon d1 therefore d is equal to u upon v multiplied by d1 so therefore small d is equal to u will be 30 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 90 into 10 to the power minus 2 Multiplied by 0.9 into 10 to the power minus 2. What happened? 10 to the power minus 2 get cancelled. 0 zero, zero get cancelled. 3 1 the 3, 3 3 the 9. 3 1 the 3 and 3 3 the 9. So small d is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. By substituting the value of capital D and small d, so wavelength. Lambda is equal to 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 
थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट टू सो यर इफ वी कैन मल्टीप्लाय टू एंड थ्री इट विल बी सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस सेवन डिवाइड बाय ट्वेल्व इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस वन सिक्स वन द सिक्स एंड सिक्स टू द ट्वेल्व सो दैट वेन टेन रेस टू माइनस वन इज शिफ्टेड हियर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस सिक्स सो वेवलेंथ इज इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस सेवन मीटर एंड देअर फोर वेवलेंथ ऑफ लाइट विच कैन बी यूज विल बी फाइव थाउजंड एंगस्ट्रॉन यूनिट इट विल बी फाइव थाउजंड एंगस्ट्रॉन यूनिट दिस इज द एन्सर फॉर गिवन क्वेश्चन Again, if we can solve the parallel beam of a green light of wavelength five four six nanometer passes through a slit of width zero point four millimeter, intensity pattern of transmitted light is seen on screen, which is forty centimeter away. What is the distance between two first order minima? Here the problem is on diffraction of light. In such problem, if we can write their data, so data will be wavelength is five four six nanometer means five four six into ten to the power minus nine meter. Here slit width. means small a will be 0.4 mm means 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter intensity pattern of transmitted light is seen that will be capital d is 40 cm means 40 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter and we can find out first two first order of minima so first order of minima will be x1 and again second order means 2x1 is there we know that for nth band xn is equal to n lambda capital d upon a for first minima n is equal to one, so x one is equal to one into lambda capital D upon a, which is four five six into ten to the power minus nine into forty into ten to the power minus two divided by four into ten raised to minus four, because here minus one is there, so four one the four, four ten the forty. Minus four is shifted here, so it is minus one. So five four six into ten to the power minus ten, ten to the power plus four. It will be five four six into ten to the power minus six meter, or zero point five four six ten to the power minus three meter. That is zero point five four six millimeter. First order, but we want find second. The first order that is two x one is equal to two into zero point five four six nanometer. Means two six the twelve one is remaining two four the eight and one is nine two five the ten. That is one point zero nine two millimeter. It will be two x one. That is the first order, first two order of minima. This will be the answer for given example. Again, we can see in Fraunhofer diffraction by a narrow slit. A screen is placed at a distance of two meter from at a distance of two meter from 
the lens to obtain diffraction pattern if the slit width is 0.2 mm and the first minimum order will be 5 mm on either side of central maximum band find the wavelength of light such example will be same that is if we can write a data here distance capital D is 2 meter again slit width small a is 0 0.2 millimeter means 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter again here the first minimum that is x1 is 5 millimeter means 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and we can find out wavelength so for nth minima xn is equal to n lambda capital D upon small a for n is equal to 1 for first minima x1 is equal to lambda capital D upon a so wavelength will be x1 into a upon capital D. Substitute the value of x1 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 2 2 1 the 2 and here 0 0.1 is there. So 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 1 into 10 to the power minus 3. So 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter will be 5000 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter and wavelength of given light it will be 5000 angstrom unit. So these are the examples which can be asked in exercise given by the chapter wave optics.